let's take a look at some of these patch notes, chat. Let's take a look at some of these patch notes. Um, greetings, Distant Dance. This is a hotfix 1.0.3 parry, uh, patch carried out with the server maintenance on Thursday, July 18th. Patch date time 7 18 2024. Blah, 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 blah. Platforms affected Steam, Xbox Series X, X, Xbox One, PS4, PlayStation 5. An option has been um, added to turn off other player effects and product, uh, projectile explosion. That's a W. That's a win. That is so good. I am tired of these freaking explosions by Enzo and I can't see shit. That is so good, dude. Um, why didn't they just say all instead? Director's comments. Um, well, in order to... Director's comments, as Glaze Infinite Launcher build became popular, we took temporary measures to address an issue where the explosion effect was disrupting gameplay severely. Currently, we only provide the option to disable other player projectiles' explosion effects, but we're planning to enhance this feature for other effects as well. Okay, okay. A system message has been added to make it easier to check dead but not out status or down but not out status of allies. Good! Hopefully they blasted in big ass fucking letters because I surely am tired when I'm down on the ground. My unaware teammates do not know that I'm on the floor and they just ignore me. Hopefully they put their whole screen flashing red, black, and blue so they can know to be a little more aware. But I'm not gonna call any names out, but there, there's been several times where this has happened. An extra measure has been added to party members UI. Reduce the research completion visual effect during unaware gamers. It didn't, you thought it ended in Lost Ark? Hell no, we brought that shit over to, from Lost Ark to this game. Reduce the search completion visual effect duration for materials frequently used in research. Um, it's usually the bunny players that are unaware. Away from keyboard, AFK has been added to the player report menu. Oh, chat, we get to report AFKers now. You're all getting reported. Report it. Director's comment, we have been keeping a close eye on recent trends regarding AFK. And we agree that AFK hinders the gameplay for other players. However, we believe that a cautious approach is required in this matter. This is because AFK judgment mecha mechanisms can sometimes be bypassed with simple shooting or moving actions. The AFK kick system can be exploited for other purposes. First, we are trying to learn the patterns of AFK players with AFK reports. Through this, we plan to collect the information necessary to separate AFK players in matchmaking and prepare and operate operative measures in the future. That's good. That's good, chat. I'm, I'm for this. Um, it's, it's not immediately going to stop people from AFKing, but they're going to learn what are the patterns and what people are AFKing for so they can, you know, handle it properly. I think this is good. Yeah. F um, we're considering ways to resolve the AFK issue so that everyone can enjoy the game together. We ask that you respect other players in the meantime, and if you have an idea on this matter, please let us know. The UI has been updated so that major rewards obtained from chain quests have already been cleared and checked in the quest list. A function then has been added to view acquisition information directly in the target section of library. Fix the issue scrolling on the top when moving from the target item to li of library to the corresponding item list. Added firearm types and rounds types to the library weapons list. Fix an issue where players who join the void fusion reactor could use the reconstruction device even if there were no void shards after completing the mission. That was an exploit. Damn it, I didn't get in on that one. When completing a void fragment mission, obtaining two types of void shards the amount obtained has increased by approximately 1.5. Oh my lord, 
chat. That's good. Come on, game. That's really good, chat. Now we get more void shards. That's fucking nice, dude. That's so nice because this is my new grind spots. How's your day going today? I'm reading patch notes, sir. Leave me alone. Um, it's going well. Void fusion reactant mission tooltip has been updated to display the number of void shards. Added linked as Morpheus material to void fusion reactor mission tooltip. Oh, that's so good. Void shard attribute will no will now be displayed on the map directly. Director's comment. We discovered it and fixed an issue where party members abort mission systems was being exploited to repeatedly play the void fusion reactor without consuming any shards. Oh my lord, Chad, I didn't get to exploit this. I hate this game. While addressing this glitch, we also considered why players might resort to using it. We realized that the transition from shard farming to actual void fusion reactor missions was quite inconvenient and tedious. Therefore, where we not only fixed the bug, but also increased the amount of void shards obtained and improved the farming process to make it more convenient. Please wait a little longer as we significantly improve the fragment farming routes in the upcoming week five update scheduled for August 1st. August 1st, chat. That is my my new descendant comes out in August 1st. Luna, Volby, Ultimate Volby, chat. August 1st, we're about to pop off severely. Yeah. Hello, Miggy. Hello, hello. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Let's see, chat. Um, the dev team will continue to learn and grow from your playing experiences. We will listen to your valuable feedback and strive to provide a better gaming environment. The number of attached items that can be registered has been in updated from 1,000 each for weapons, reactors, and external components. Can be registered? Ooh, I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, how uh, like this is for favorites? The number of stuff you can favorite? Hey, that is so good. Come on, that's a W. I don't know why they even have a limit for how much shit you can favorite, by the way, but I'm good for this. This is good. Was like 10? Um, let's see, chat. Descendants, thrill, bomb, and lightning emission with bunny. High voltage module will now target nearby targets rather than random targets. That's pretty good, right? This is way better than random targets. I like this. This is a good change. Allergy of re uh, reconstruction serum. Damn, that's isn't that's is, that's a fancy word to say semen. Reconstruction serum. Chad, do you guys have any reconstruction se uh, look, serum? Reconstruction serum. Hello, yes, sir. Good morning, Cypher. I mean, you can purchase like 1,000 slots to have 1,100. Um, ultimate bunny electric high voltage and bunny electric condensed sound effects have been changed. Okay. Use bunnies to inflict electrocution on enemies has been removed from the second and third stage evolution conditions of the bunny evolving skin, skin speedy awakening one. I don't know what the fuck that means. Um, infiltration operations. You can now view mission results through escape menu, completing an infiltration menu. Um, blah, 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 blah. Mission. Um, the position of immune spheres of named monsters will not change anymore as the monsters move or rotate. Um, the drop quantity of hard difficulty has been increased by approximately 1.5. More drops! 
The stack limit for consumable items has been increased from 1 million to 100 million. They listen to me. Oh my Lord, Chad, they listen to me. Uh, I feel like I am the reason they did a lot of these patches. <laughs> There's another one in here that I noticed that I was doing and they nerfed as well, but I'm not going to say which one chat I'm not going to say which one But there's another thing in here that also got nerfed Yeah, Ellie matters. Hello, Safis. Hello. Hello. Every game you play easy. Let them know Miona. They listen Okay, so they did a fixed issue of temporary frame drops when opening inventory with DLSS frame generation. Uh, fix the memory leak when using frame generation. Fix the memory leak that occurred intermediately in windowed mode. Fix an issue where frame limit was not restored even if additional options were changed off DS uh, DLSS. That's good. That's good, right? Hello, Stepperoo. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Stepperoo. White Knight. Yeah. My ass got nerfed. Can I see it? Ellie's PP size got nerfed. Yeah, I know. Bug fixes. Russian, Spanish, Portuguese fix an issue where material quantity text was cut, cut off in the weapon uh, transmission. Blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares. Descendants fixed an issue where the descendant could not uh, couldn't be changed after completing the exclusive dungeon of the quest to bunny our beloved daughter in the bunny quest wait is bunny glaze daughter no right it isn't right No. Hello, Renzen. Hello, hello. I got the 50 gigabyte update. You got the 50 gigabyte update? No, it's not. Hello, Legend. She acts like her mother or something. They're close according to the story. Oh. Well, Gla um, Bunny does seem a little bit more younger or mischievous. While Glace is very mommy, so it could be some of this dynamic there going on. You know? We love how Bunny runs fast, unleashes electric energy to take down her enemies. Bunny is a descendant who gains her power in proportion to the distance she travels. However, this is the thing chat that I was doing on stream. However, rolling around in a corner <laughs> and using her skills was not what we expected from her. So we were decided to fix this. Yeah, you guys remember I was doing this on those um, vaults. Ah, shit, I got nerfed again. Oh my lord. They're nerfing me all the time. Left, right, and center, Chad. You know what? I'm just not going to exploit on stream anymore. You know what? I'm going to keep the secrets to myself. No more on stream. They patched her, lads. I've been patched, dude. Uh, but I but this is a fair patch because I could totally see people using m macros and um, scripts to get around this. So this is actually kind of good nerf. This is a good fix because um, people were just using it to jump in place and or roll around to release her uh, lightning. Sorry, cleaning my glasses. Yeah, um, we have a rat in the stream. Hello, Mr. Ray Charles. Additionally, we're detecting the use of various macros and unauthorized programs through our monitoring system, including the rolling in place macro. We're currently taking actions against macros and unauthorized programs, and will continue to strive to create a more enjoyable gaming environment for everyone. Oh, there you guys go. If you guys are using macros or any exploits, I hope you do get banned. Yeah. Um, fix an issue where sound was not played intermediately when landing on the floor with Kyle. Uh, who cares? Nobody plays Kyle. Fix an issue where arch uh, acceleration module did not increase the speed and distance of projectiles. 
Um. Uh oh, chat. My spot. The fortress outskirts have become a popular farming area. <laughs> With many monsters pouring in from the beginning of launch. We love the run and kill play and believe running and shooting and bursting are the fundamental aspects of a looter shooter. However, using this terrain to exploit and gather monsters without any action was uh, not what we intended. If everyone simply stood still and haunted, haunted, the game's enjoyment would quickly diminish. Therefore, that is a lie. I'm pretty sure that everyone who did this had fun. I'm just saying. Like, you could say whatever you want to say. But I'm pretty sure that people that did this were not getting their gaming enjoyment diminished. People were still having fun doing this. Yeah. Good morning, Rampa. Yeah, you can say that it was not what you intended, but don't say that the game's enjoyment will quickly diminish because this is not accurate. We decided to make the change. We maintain the spawn rate because you know what? made this so good well aside from it being a chill experience just to afk and kill shit that was a really good big perk but i feel the dopamine release of killing monsters super quick and a lot of monsters thrown at you at once was the shit that made your dick hard and if these this sort of looting shooting was actually jam-packed in other areas people would still have fun it's the fact that you blew up everything so much and so many monsters that made that shit fun the um the amount of monsters that just fucking exploded while you ran through them that was fun implement that shit Remove the AS AFK aspect of it if you want, but increase the amount of monster density and the amount of explosions that happen, and you can have a really good time for everyone. Just have a wave of like 50 monsters track you down. That shit was fun. Seeing everybody, every monster just explode and drop all the loot. That shit felt good. Do that shit. And remove the AFK aspect of it, and I'm still happy. I'm still gonna find a way to cheese it and still even AFK, because killing the massive groups was fun. That's what I'm saying. The hordes is the fun. The hordes is the fun. I don't wanna kill like five monsters every minute, bro. That's lame. If you want this, if you don't want this to be intended this way because of the AFK moment, at least give us 50 monsters that spawn every 10 seconds that rush your ass. And if it's too difficult for people, oh well. They have other places they can grind. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. But let, let me continue reading. Maybe, maybe they said, say something else. We maintain the spawn rate by keeping four Volga's resource storages active simultaneously, but the monsters will not increase when players are idle. See, one thing that I don't like about this game, one of my, one of my problems with this game is that whenever you do a mission or something, you kill a couple of monsters and then you gotta wait for more monsters to spawn. That little spawn time that you have to wait kills the fucking joy for me. If it's a running shooter, looter, exploder, like the uh, exploding, whatever they said up here, uh, we believe running, shooting, and bursting are the fundamental aspects of a looter shooter. Then, then make it more adrenaline pumping. Then release more monsters. More monsters, faster as spawn times. And I wouldn't mind it so much. Yeah. Just give me more. Uh, wait, does that mean that if you run on the spot, they'll keep spawning, Ellie? No, this just means that they won't spawn until you cl kill, kill the monsters that spawned. So instead of, like, them continuously pouring in if you AFK, you have to kill the 10 monsters that spawn, 
and then a new spawn wave will come which is very fucking boring by the way when you kill 10 monsters and then you have to wait like 30 seconds to one minute for another wave to spawn that shit it just kills all the fucking vibe that like is, is so boring you know, that's the problem with how their monsters spawn. They're not fast enough. They're, there's not that much excitement. I would like for them to... If they're going to f uh, go ahead with this change, which they did, I hope that they realize that um, more monsters, more fun, more explosion, more loot. Fix an issue with code analyzer was ex um, intermittently required when working with the encrypted vault in hard difficulty. I want to fight a thousand mobs. That's what I'm saying. I want to fight a thousand mobs. It's inconsistent. Some content inst instantly spawns. Yeah, some, some are a little bit different than other spots, but I wish they stayed consistent. I wish we got faster uh, monster spawns and more monster spawns. I've literally never played a looter shooter where I was like, oh my God, too many mobs. Um, a horde mode would be nice. Yeah, as a horde mode of type. Because even... You know, even the Kingston missions where you have to defend a spot, even those, they spawn so slow, dude. My thoughts and prayers to whoever can do one of those Kingston defense operation systems, they're so fucking boring. They put me to sleep. The amount of monsters that spawn and how slow they spawn is so pathetic. At least let us, like, have a toggle to make it difficult for us to add more monsters or something. Well, anyways, I think this is concludes all the patch notes, chat. If you feel like I missed something that's super important, let me know. Thanks for the love and interest that you have shown us. We feel the brimming energy of the community. Hotfix 1.0.3 includes many fixes, which, we'll hope we'll, uh, which we hope will improve your gaming experience. Recently... We saw a video in the community where the Colossus was defeated more quickly through module switching. Oh yeah, this is that Glay build, right? That one-shot Glay build? If we had a bit more time, we would have liked to include a fix for this hot fix. But unfortunately, it didn't make it to this update. Oh, chat! If you're building a one-shot Glay... You better change your mind because they're going to nerf this. The dev team does not want module switching to become another strategy. This method makes combat tedious, tedious and does not fit well with run and gun playstyle. The dev team wants skills, weapons, modules and external components to be part of the strategy. We hope that in-depth build researchers will progress, but strategies requiring inconvenient control are not what the development team aims for. Last but not least, we are planning to skip the patch next week for the upcoming fifth week update on August 1st. Please look forward to the new descendant Luna and Ultimate Bobby. New intercept battles, new ultimate weapons, modules external components and skins on august 1st oh my lord chat is time chat time to start saving money because we are going to go deep into this start asking for allowance money from your parents starting today start digging through your couch cushions to get that extra little quarter because we're going to be swiping in august august 1st I'm swiping, don't worry. Damn, Chase, how much we swiping for? I have 350 saved up, chat. Yeah, yeah. Um, so those have been the patch notes. Let's launch our game, chat. Launch. Pay to win. Let them know, Ellie. Well, chat. Yeah. I'm swiping. I'm swiping on August 1st. Who cares? Who cares? You guys think I'm gonna grind out Luna? Which is probably gonna take like three to days to five days? Fuck no. 
I'm swiping for my bitch day one, dude. As soon as the servers come back up, I'm swiping. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you. Viewers like you. By hitting the comment, like, and subscription button, you help me really, 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 really a bunch. More than you ever know. You could even put it on mute and walk away, you know, or lower the volume and walk away. But all the success of this channel relies on you. And I'm very thankful if you hit that comment, like, and subscription button. Also, follow my social medias. Twitter. My Twitter, I put out new art, new stuff. If you want to see more of this... Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.